Did you know that the average person uses 100 rolls of toilet paper per year? That's a lot of paper. Pause for a moment and let that sink in. 100 rolls each and every year. We're talking about a small mountain of paper, all destined for the humble bathroom. It's such an essential yet overlooked part of our daily lives. With that staggering number in mind, have you ever wondered how this everyday item is actually made? Every roll of toilet paper starts its journey as a tree. Yes, trees, those towering giants that decorate our landscapes and fill our lungs with fresh air. The process begins with the careful selection and harvesting of trees. Once chosen, these trees are felled, a term which simply means they're cut down. The felled trees are then loaded onto trucks and transported to a mill. At the mill, the trees embark on a transformative journey. Like a caterpillar into a butterfly, they shed their rough exterior in a process known as debarking. The bark, that rough protective layer, is stripped away, revealing the soft, pliable wood underneath. But we're not making furniture here, we're making toilet paper, so we need these trees in a different form. This is where the process of chipping comes in. The debarked trees are fed into powerful machines that reduce them to small, manageable pieces, akin to the wood chips you might use for your barbecue. But we're not done yet. These chips are just the starting point. Next, they head into a large pressure cooker of sorts called a digester. The chips are cooked under high pressure and temperature, a process that breaks down the bonds holding the wood fibers together. The result? A mushy substance known as pulp. This pulp is a mixture of individual wood fibers, water, and some residual lignin, a natural glue that previously held the fibers together in the tree. The pulp is then washed and screened to remove any unwanted particles and the remaining lignin. This leaves us with a clean, wet pulp, the raw material for making paper. So, there you have it. A tree, through a combination of human ingenuity and mechanical prowess, has been transformed into pulp. It's a fascinating process, isn't it? But we're only halfway there. From these humble beginnings, the pulp is now ready to be transformed into a product we all use daily. Now this pulp is about to embark on a fascinating transformation. We've journeyed from tree to pulp, and now it's time to see how this pulp turns into paper. It's not as simple as you might think, and involves a few intricate steps that ensure we get the smooth, thin, yet strong paper we're all familiar with. The first step in this transformation is all about cleanliness. The pulp is put through a rigorous cleaning process, removing any remaining impurities. This step is crucial to ensure that the paper is of the highest quality. After it's cleaned, the pulp is treated to a bleaching process. This is what gives the paper its white color. The bleaching process is carefully controlled to maintain the strength of the fibers while achieving the desired whiteness. Once cleaned and bleached, the pulp is now ready for the next stage, the paper making process. Here the pulp is mixed with a copious amount of water. This pulp water mixture is then spread onto a wire screen, creating a thin layer. This process is akin to a baker spreading dough onto a baking sheet, but instead of dough we have pulp, and instead of a baking sheet we have a wire screen. As the water drains through the screen, a mat of intertwined fibers begins to form. This mat is the beginning of our paper sheet, but it's not quite paper yet. The mat needs to be compressed to remove as much water as possible. This is achieved by pressing the mat between two rollers, squeezing out the water and compacting the fibers. The final step in the paper making process is drying. The press sheet is passed over heated cylinders, evaporating the remaining water. This process also helps to bond the fibers together, creating a thin, strong sheet of paper. With the paper now formed, we're one step closer to the finished product. The journey from tree to paper is fascinating, isn't it? But our journey doesn't end here. Stay tuned as we delve into the next step. Turning this paper into the toilet paper we all know and use daily. From a sheet of paper to a roll of toilet paper, the final steps are just as crucial. Now, before you can reach for that roll in your bathroom, a few more steps are needed to transform this plain paper into the soft, absorbent product we all rely on. First, the paper needs to be embossed. This process involves passing the paper sheets through a machine that imprints a pattern onto the surface. The pattern isn't just for aesthetics, it's also functional, creating pockets of air that increase the paper's softness and absorbency. Think of it as a kind of paper massage, making it softer and more pliable. 
This process can vary from manufacturer to manufacturer, with each having their own secret techniques and patterns to provide that unique feel. Once the paper has been embossed, it's time to start winding. The embossed paper is fed onto a large roll in a continuous sheet. This roll, often as large as 12 feet in diameter, is called a jumbo roll. This isn't the roll you'll see in your bathroom, of course. That would be impractical, but it's an essential step in the journey of your toilet paper. The jumbo roll is then transferred to a machine that cuts it into smaller, more manageable rolls. These are the rolls you'd recognize in your bathroom, but before they're ready for packaging and shipping, they'll usually undergo a final quality check. After all, no one wants to find a flaw in their toilet paper. The cutting process is surprisingly precise. The width, the number of sheets, even the perforation that allows you to tear off a piece, all of these are carefully controlled to ensure consistency. It's a testament to the care and precision that goes into making a product that, let's be honest, doesn't usually get a lot of thought. And there you have it, a roll of toilet paper ready to be used. From a humble tree to a jumbo roll, and finally to the roll in your bathroom, it's quite the journey. But it's a journey that's made with care, precision, and a lot of attention to detail. Because even the simplest products play an important role in our daily lives. From a tree in the forest to a roll in your bathroom, the journey of toilet paper is truly fascinating. We've journeyed together from the humble beginnings of a log through the pulping process, the transformation into paper, and finally, the rolling into the familiar form we all know. It's a process that combines nature, technology, and a touch of everyday magic. So next time you reach for a roll, maybe you'll appreciate the journey it's been on to get to you.